Hi everyone, welcome to Home Studio Deep Dives. My name is John, I'm a recording engineer, producer, and songwriter, and today's a very special day because I just received a box fresh off of a truck from Sweetwater. In this box is a stereo pair of Soyuz FET 013 small diaphragm condensers. Besides doing the unboxing in this video, we're also going to compare them to a Biodynamic MC930 as well as a Neumann KM183 Omni microphone. Lastly, we're going to record some vocals, me speaking into a microphone, some trumpet, and also some harp to actually hear what the differences are between the microphones. So let's get started with our unboxing. Okay, so this box is fresh off a of FedEx truck. Inside of the Sweetwater box, they of course sent their candy. They always send the candy and some pamphlets. Um, Sweetwater's awesome. The sales reps there are amazing. They're very helpful. Shout out to Jordan, uh, great sales rep. Now. On to the Soyuz. Full disclosure, I did open this up already just to make sure that everything was in there. This first envelope is very cool. Open it up and there are cards of the people who made it. So this was machined by Mr. Alexi, tested by Vladimir, and assembled by Sergey. In this other envelope, we get all the information about the microphones. I really love that companies send stickers I have them all over my studio. Um, so definitely gonna add this one to the walls. Then the uh, manual here, warranty, shows everything here. Has signatures of the people who worked on it when it was made. Um, this is a really cool feature. You can actually register your mics on their website and you'll get an extended warranty for two years, which is really great uh, because I plan on using these a lot. So that's very cool. Next, we have the frequency response graphs for both microphones. So this is ser that serial number, this is the serial number. Um, this shows you their frequency response for the different polar patterns. So that's everything that was in the envelopes. Let's move on to the actual box. As you can see, it's a beautiful wooden box. Put that off to the side and here we go. Now this box is magnetized, so it doesn't have any latches. Um, it's not that difficult to open. I've seen some people say that it's quite hard to open, but it just pops right up. Um, you don't have to worry about it. I don't think you have to worry about it opening up if you're traveling with it. Um, but I wouldn't take the chance and have them fall out, but very nice wooden box. So here they are. This is the full set. So on these microphones, they have the cardioid pattern. These are the cardioid small diaphragms. And then these other capsules are the hypercardioid capsule. So we have hypercardioid, pretty clear symbol that it's hypercardioid. The omni capsules. So again, very clear that it's omni. The mic clips, which are very nice mic clips. They're pretty heavy duty. They're made out of metal on the bottom here and then plastic up top. Um, they seem to fit pretty snugly in there. So it's, uh, don't have to worry about them falling out. And then lastly, we have the 10 decibel pads. See 10 dB. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, very cool. So those are all those are all the parts. Um, just to show you how easy it is to take the capsules on and off. Um, all you have to do to remove the capsule is just simply twist. It wasn't on there tight. Pretty easy to screw off. It was on there snugly, but not so tight that it's impossible to take off. So then to put on the Omni capsule, we can just put it right on there. And it screws right on, nice and easy. Um, the 10 dB pads, just to show you how large it becomes, here's the 10 decibel pad. So it adds a little bit of weight to it, but if you need to mic a loud sound source, there you go. There's your 10 decibel pad. So I use. Pretty easy. Now the main purpose of this video is to demonstrate some differences between the Soyuz and other microphones. So for that, I'm going to show some of the physical differences between the Soyuz and a Neumann and a Biodynamic MC930. So first up, we have the comparison between the Neumann. This is a KM183 Omni. And this is the Soyuz, obviously. Now, a couple of differences right off the bat. The Soyuz is much larger, made out of brass. It's a much heavier, heavier microphone than the Neumann. Neumann feels pretty light. Another big difference is the casing. You can see that it's pretty thick on the Soyuz, but not quite so thick on the Neumann. Another big difference is the gold-plated XLR pins, while this one has nickel, I believe. 
And lastly, we can actually see the difference in the diaphragm size and the capsule size. So the, the Soyuz is quite large in comparison to the Neumann. The Soyuz kind of sits between a small diaphragm and a large diaphragm microphone, which is pretty interesting. Next, we have the comparison between the Biodynamic MC930 and the Soyuz. Now, the Biodynamic is quite a bit longer than the Soyuz. Both of these are cardioid. I didn't put the Omni capsule on to compare to the Neumann because they all look the same. Biggest difference is one is thinner and one is thicker. So again, the capsule on the Soyuz is quite large in comparison to the Biodynamic. Another big difference is the Biodynamic has the high-pass filter and the 15 dB pad. So there's a bit of a difference there as there's no kind of filter that you can put on the Soyuz um, or the Neumann for that matter. And the 10 dB pad is obviously less than the 15 dB pad. Lastly, we can see that the walls of the Soyuz, again, are much larger or thicker than the walls of the Biodynamic. Um, so again, thicker microphone, a little bit thinner microphone. Similar in weight, Soyuz feels a little bit heavier than the Biodynamic. And there you have it, the Soyuz 13 FET small diaphragm condenser microphones compared to a Biodynamic MC930 and a Neumann KM183. Now it's time to compare how they sound. I'll be explaining how I'm setting up the recording for the different instruments while also switching between the Soyuz hypercardioid, the Soyuz cardioid, and then the Biodynamic. Apparently the Soyuz are incredibly sensitive to plosives, so Soyuz recommends that you use a pop filter. I'd recommend that you use a pop filter, but since I'm speaking relatively far away from the microphones, I'm not using one. Also, I don't have three pop filters. For this vocal example, I won't be using the Omni microphones, but I will be using them for the instruments. For recording the instruments, I'll have the four microphones lined up with the two Omnis on the outside and the two cardioids on the inside. I won't be using my Neve or Daking mic preamps and will instead use the four preamps on the RME Fireface. In addition to that, all of the microphones will be using Silverback Roar gold-plated XLR cables. Lastly, I won't process the audio in any way really except for adding some volume and maybe some reverb.